From Las Vegas, Nevada, it's Pete Allman's Celebrity Scene News, covering Hollywood, Las Vegas celebrities, sports, and hot news. Now, here's your man on the scene, Pete Allman. And welcome back to another edition of Celebrity Scene News. Today we're going to talk about the business of law and how important it is for you and to know what you have to do to handle things right in your life when it comes to legal matters. And with me today is attorney at law Benjamin Childs. And Ben, it's good seeing you once again. Thank you, Pete. Nice right. to see you again. Let's talk a little bit about the the um, what's happening today with, in our society with people regarding legal matters uh, with mortgages in their homes and, and the people that are losing their homes, what they can do so that they don't lose their homes. Okay, first off, it's important to understand that Southern Nevada is ground zero for the for the foreclosure crisis. 67% of the houses in Las Vegas are upside down, which means that the borrower or homeowner owes more than they more than the house is worth because the value peaked about December of 2006 and went down about 50% since then. During that time, you had a whole slew of creative mortgages, option arms, negative amortization, um, zero interest, um, and all these are starting to adjust now because that was in the 2004 to 2007 time frame. These m unique mortgages had three to five year periods with introductory rates. And so those are all starting to adjust now. So the value's gone down, their payments are going up, and luckily the Nevada legislature, which only meets every other year, met this year and passed AB 149, which offers some tremendous protections to the owner-occupied homeowner. Okay, well, in that case, then, because of that law, does that reduce their mortgage in half? And how, where do you come in on this matter with the people that uh, can be protected by that particular law? No, it doesn't, it doesn't reduce anything, but it, for, it essentially got rid of non-judicial foreclosure. Now there's going to be a court-mandated mediation at the homeowner's election. So it's extremely important that if you're behind in your mortgage that you con consult a lawyer immediately, preferably hire a lawyer because there are certain time frames and procedures that you have to comply with in order to take advantage of this law. But the homeowner essentially has to send in a request for mediation, which then there's a court appointed mediator is going to hold a little hearing and decide if the and the bank has to attend and negotiate in good faith to try to adjust their mortgage. It's not necessarily going to cut their payments in half. It's not necessarily going to cut their principal down. But on a societal level, there's going to be a lot of pressure on the banks to do that rather than continue with the foreclosure. There's between 70 and 90,000 foreclosures in the Las Vegas Valley that are coming up in the next year. So there's going to be, and I'm not saying all of those are owner-occupied, but let's say even three-quarters of them are. That's about 50,000 homeowners that are going to be foreclosed on that can take advantage of this law by requesting a mediation. Okay, well, there are three major foreclosure states, Las Vegas, and then, of course, Los Angeles and Florida. Am I correct, Ben? Well, between Fa Florida, Michigan, California, Arizona, and Nevada mm -hmm. are 70% of the foreclosures in the United States. Mm -hmm. So other than those five states, most states are pretty... They didn't have the big run-up. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, they're, the value has gone down in Texas, for instance, or Kentucky. Mm -hmm. It's gone down, but it hasn't gone down 50%, and it didn't go up by 200% like it did here. So it went up a little bit, and then it went down a little bit. So those people in the other, in the other 45 states do not have the same dramatic effect that Florida, Michigan... Nevada or Cal Nevada, Arizona, and California have there. Those five states have seventy percent of the foreclosures. There are a lot of people that uh, have their homes, and uh, they have no place to go, and the banks don't know what to do with the homes because there's all these you know homes that are just there. They're not paying on them, and they're living free in their homes. But how long is that going to last? I met a lot of people that have made mortgage payments that are still living in their homes that have been in the homes for a year. What are your thoughts about that? What's going to happen regarding that? Years. 
my thoughts are that's going to last years. Mm -hmm. <laughs> this AB149 is going to slow the process down even more. Mm -hmm. And the banks have essentially stopped foreclosing until July. First, Obama, when Obama got elected, they came out with the stimulus ban. So essentially, they stopped foreclosing. And I'm not saying every bank, but in general terms. They stopped, put the brakes on in February and March till they saw what what the Obama plan, stimulus plan was going to be. Mm -hmm. So that slowed it down. Then that, that came out. Didn't really affect the five states that I talked about. So then they started gang gung-ho again. Now in Nevada, they passed AB 149. So now the brakes are on again until they figure out what's going to happen. So that's probably a couple of month delay. If you got 50,000 mediations, that's going to take quite a while to do all those mediations, and you cannot complete your foreclosure until you complete your mediation. And we are swamped with work at this point, and it's going to continue for years. And the best thing is to consult a lawyer and find out what your rights are if you're behind in your payment. Even if you're a non-homeowner occupied on your rental properties, banks are under tremendous pressure to avoid foreclosing. Ben, I want to thank you for talking with us today. Once again, thank you. positive information right here on Celebrity Scene News. I'm Pete Allman, and this is Benjamin Childs. Don't forget to check out the website. It's on the bottom of your screen. Thank you. Thanks for watching Celebrity Scene News with Pete Allman. Until next show, keep your visions positive and check out our website at www.celebritycene.com.